YouTube Salivate Metal here. We, we are witnessing some interesting occurrences in the stock market. Really, we've seen these. They've almost become commonplace. But little fearful drops in the market uh, that have occurred over the past year that uh, could have sparked something bigger, but they end up correcting themselves. Well, today... As of the recording of this video, the stock market closed at the lowest level since October, and uh, it's due in part to some concerns over the Chinese stock markets, but also slower global growth, especially in the service sectors, as well as the energy shares also falling as well. And I would imagine that along with those with energy shares falling, we were probably seeing a lot of commodities dropping as well. But uh, oil, for instance, plunged to below thirty-five dollars a barrel, and so there's a lot of a lot of uh, uncertainty in the world today, not only based off of the global markets, but also based off of the geopolitical atmosphere that we are seeing today, <clears throat> as far as the DPRK testing a supposed hydrogen bomb, which. Uh, uh, you know, some have raised concerns about if it's not a hydrogen bomb, then most certainly it is something big that they're doing over there. But of course, U.S. officials have downplayed uh, the activity that and the testing that uh, North Korea is undergone. But we also have tensions rising and continuing so in the Middle East, with ISIS threatening some Saudi prisons due to some imprisonment of al-Qaeda members, and also the tensions between Saudi Arabia and Iran over the execution of a Shiite cleric. So uh, very interesting times we live in today in a geopolitical nature, and within the past year, really, we could have experienced several Archduke Ferdinand moments which, uh, as many of you who remember history in 1914, it was that uh, event, the uh, assassination of the Archduke Ferdinand, that sparked World War I. And honestly, we could have had several, multiple of those that uh, could eventually lead to a global war again. Although it's tough to say, and it's a completely different atmosphere now, in a different uh, environment in the way that... Uh, uh, these geopolitical decisions are weighed in and uh, how they're dealt with. But uh, certainly uncertain times, to say the least. I believe these markets that come out with these price, with these uh, these drops, every time we see these uh, drops, these massive drops in prices due to these concerns, if they happen with more frequency, we should become more concerned as far as where the stock market and where the confidence in the market will take us. And it gives us all the more reason to stack the precious metals because for thousands of years, gold and silver stayed true and uh, have have surpassed and weathered the test of time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.